All right, so I finally got some lathe time in here. I was able to turn down uh, this 5 8 solid uh, stock. Uh, it's 304 um, stainless. Um, basically, what I had to do was uh, was turn each end um, down from 5 8 to half inch so that the ends could slip into a uh, half inch hole that's been punched into the support brackets I'm using to support the axle and the rollers. And um, the idea here was basically to, to support the roller and, and hold it captive um, without the need of any additional retaining hardware like an axle nut or cotter pins and washers. And um, basically was just coming up with a, a clean and simple way um, to, to keep these rollers um, on the trailer. So, um, Basically, I, I had to make about uh, 12 of these. There'll be six rollers per side. And so you'll slip each end in through the bracket, and then the brackets will mount down to a uh, cross support. And uh, there'll be um, about six of these cross supports running the length of the trailer. And here's a mock-up of the first one um, before I machine the rest, and everything looked good, so I went ahead. And you can see the... The two brackets um, that hold the axle and then there's actually going to be one bracket outboard that will hold the cross support to the trailer and the idea here is this the six uh, cross supports will replace the uh, the cradles at the front and back uh, to, to basically lower the boat on the trailer and uh, for a lower center of gravity and also to spread the load of the boat uh, along the length of the trailer and of course to make uh, launching and retrieving single hand as, uh, as easy as possible. Um, and uh, so far it looks like uh, things should work pretty good. Um, next video, hopefully I'll be able to lower the hulls onto the new rollers. Well, that's it uh, for now. Thanks for watching and aloha.